Welcome back, guys. Going into the third hour. Take it away, Adam. How does Prosper die? All right. So here's 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 the situation as we come back from commercial. Uh, you 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 see this like just for a second. You see the the like nervous looking bellhop with the box in his hand. He gets shoved aside. Um, there's a guy that had a gun to his back that rushes into the room with two other guys. They they try to grab you. Um, you have to fall back into the room or else they'll like grab you right away. But there's basically yeah. like yeah, three dudes in your room. You're in your bathrobe. What are you Which do? brings me to this <sighs> point, Adam. Yeah. Now this isn't Pocahontas, okay? When you're wearing garbs like that, they fall away. So what kind of a desperation <laughs> roll? Like where on <laughs> where on the priority tree is Prosper know, keeping man. the robe? Man, just, Prosper does not give any fucks. He three is guys now, come charging at me. The robe fucking flutters back like a cape. Man. Absolutely, he's now in like a silk black bikini bottom. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Does Very it like, European. Does, does it? Yeah, is it on, on the butt? Does it have a little like fleur de lis? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> it, it just says juicy. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> All right, cool. So you leap back, your your bathrobe <laughs> fluttering kung fu movie Do style. Do pigeons come you. out of the robe and just fly oh, off and die? Oh. And uh, yeah, and these guys like rush to to grab you. Uh, so yeah, what do you want to do? Shit, Jesus. Um. Oh, that'd be weird. <laughs> do, do all of them have guns or just the one no, guy? No, just the one guy. And he had the gun at the other guy's back. It doesn't look like he didn't he's not here to shoot you. He just wants the other guys to grab you. Yeah, I go ham on the one guy with the gun. Well and hang on. I, I dive, dive on him. Like are these like drugged out scumbags? They look professional hitmen? Like what is yeah, that? Tell me, some, tell me what they somewhere look. somewhere in between. Before um, we kill Prosper, all three, let's... all three of them are uh like ethnically Majidi, so they're they're like um they're Chinese or the equivalent, space Chinese. Um, they are wearing um, clothes that are not, they're not like nice, but they're not like workers' clothes either. Um, so they're not wearing like a suit. They're wearing like, um, like they might be like, f like uh, dressed like foremen or dressed like, like bis lower grade businessmen. Um, one of them has a gun and uh, the other two, uh, they don't appear armed. Uh, and they like, yeah, they're just, they're trying to get a hold of you. Um, there's evidence on all three of them of blue fever use. Like, their lips are all, like, a little blue. Um, mm. but it doesn't look like they're high. Like, they're not just like, <laughs> I get this guy. Like, they're here for a purpose. Yeah. Yeah, they want to, they want to grab you. So. And um, we never settled this, so also clarify relation of our hotel rooms to him. Because you did ask, where would our hotel rooms be? Yep. And I you, believe JP said the same hotel. I don't know if we said Yeah, definitely. Like, here's the thing. If, and I think this is something that you know, Prosper, if someone fires a projectile weapon, like a, there's a gunshot, not like a laser wouldn't be loud enough. If someone fires mm -hmm. a, a pistol or whatever, um, then everyone on the floor will hear it. And yep. that'll mean the other PCs. If you shout really loud for help, there's a chance. Uh, that uh, that they'll hear it as well. Um, there's only the one entrance or exit to your room in which they're coming in. There's the there's a behind you, I guess. Maybe this is actually. You know what? Fuck it. Make a tactics roll. Oh yeah, good, good, good. The, the first thing you think is like, okay, what do I have at my disposal? Yep. Uh, roll twenty. Where are you? It's gonna be a baguette. No, it's just a. Quarter. I got a ten. Nice. I've yeah, got yeah. crazy shit at my disposal. All right, so. I'll give you the general rundown, and I'll. Uh, you I've can... got a bellhop. <laughs> so, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's like a, um, there's the bed, there's a dresser, there's another small room where the like bathroom and like all that stuff is. Um, there's probably like an empty wine bottle and maybe the remnants of your like dinner, so like a fork and a knife sitting probably like the closest objects to you. They're sitting up on the um, banister or on the, mm -hmm. the table near the TV. Um, your rifle uh, is in, of course, like pristine shape. Where do you keep it normally? Like when you're not, like, because it has a case. It, it's probably like over by the bed. Mm -hmm. Like, like maybe there's a bedside table, and like that's where like all of my equipment equipment is. It's like neatly laid out. It's in its case. It's, it's probably disassembled and like put away at this point. Cool. Um, and, and maybe that's how we see it, right? We see like prosper vision for a second when the guys are coming at you in slow motion. You like look. You see your weapon. You look over here. You see like potential weapons, like steak knife. Wine mm -hmm. bottle. Mm -hmm. um, I've got my, I mean, I, I suppose I have my sparring stick, mm -hmm. but like, you know, that's probably hard to use lethally. Yeah. Um, mm, 
Yeah, so I guess the first thing that Prosper does is immediately he just yells, Oh, secours! And he grabs, like, the knife and, like, just, like, in a backhand hold. And then he lunges for the guy with the gun. I'm trying to, like, grab his arm and then stab him in the wrist to okay. immobilize his firing arm. All right. So let's, we'll say you um, you can start your, because you got that tactics roll, uh, and you're, you're already aware of what's going on, you, like, hop back into the room and grab the knife. Yeah. And then let's, and then we'll roll initiative. Sure. Uh, and then you can, you can use it. Uh, okay. There. Okay, so they got an eight. Uh, what do I roll for initiative? There should be a little initiative thing, but it's a D eight plus your dex modifier. Oh, let's see if there if there is an initiative button. Oh, down it'll here. Just, it'll just ask Oop. you for your dex bonus. Okay. Okay, I got a three, so that's not good. Okay. All right. So the uh, the first thing that happens then is um, the two the two guys that are sort of flanking you, they rush to grab your arms. So they're going to make a, a grapple attempt on you. Mm. So um, I don't have an active resist for this, right? It's just a um, Yeah, you're going to roll your... You're going to roll your... Um, uh, if they hit you, you get a strength roll to try to, like, break for okay. you. We'll say a physical effect save to get away. Um, so they've got a plus... Where is our uh, initiative? It's just your dexterity modifier. Oh, okay. It's, there's a okay. button on the lower plus. left. Nice. Okay, they so... Yeah, so they, they lunge to grab you, but you manage to, like, duck. So they go over and, like, try to grab you. Mm -hmm. um, and then the guy with the gun tries to uh, hit you in the face with it. So he's going to run up and try to, like, pistol whip you, basically. Yeah, cool. Um, so I'll make a roll for him. And your armor class is nothing, right? Yep. Okay. Because so I'm basically nude. It's fine. There's, there's it's like, I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Stupid nothing sexy at all. prosper. Well... Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was close. Oh, that was scary. Okay. So, uh, he, uh, he, yeah, he just narrowly misses you. So, I mean, all three of them, like these guys, lunge to grab you. One guy goes to hit you. What do you? How do you like describe how Prosper is like fighting these guys? So yeah, Thank like you. you know, these guys like go over top of me. I duck down. I lunge forwards as the guy's coming at me. I swipe like to the left with my left arm to like knock his hand with the gun off course. Okay. I take the knife and I stab it into his bicep. Okay, do it. Make an attack roll. His armor class is also uh, nil. We're not wearing armor. Is that just two hits short, and then total bonus is plus what? One for me? Or... Total bonus is your strength bonus, your uh, armed combat. Do um, I get dex bonus for that? Uh, I think with these, it's it's strength. Um, okay. And so... and then add ten because they don't have any armor. On. Okay, so I get. My attack bonus is three, so my primitive weapons is nothing. So that's a minus one, so that's a two, so I'm adding 12. Yes, sir. You get anything eight or higher, you'll hit him. Bam. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. So uh, <laughs> da damage on a steak knife. Uh, like <laughs> D4, right? It's a knife. That's what I figured. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you don't kill him, but there's blood. You, like, jab the knife into his arm. He screams. Um... And yeah, like you're rewarded by you pull it out, and it's like because it's serrated. There's like a rip, and he starts bleeding, and he drops oh. his gun, grabs his arm. Yeah, uh, I, I shout. I just shout. La fin, contact, pro contact, Zikarian. Okay. Not All right. Cool. So they're going to um, the one goon like that you that you knifed. He falls back, and he's like clutching his arm. Um, the other two are going to try and knock you out. So they're going to come in. Should I grab you? And I leave you? the knife in his arm. Yeah, okay, so he staggers back and it's just sticking out. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, so for them, it's uh, And actually, unarmored is a plus nine, not a ten, but none of that would have changed what we did. Okay, so plus nine for one of them. Nice. Wow. Okay. And the second one, uh, bam. Okay, so you dodge the first one. So he comes in from one side, you manage to dodge the way, but you turn and the other one, like, yeah, bang, punches you across the face. Yeah, well, uh, you know, a broken nose is something Prosper is used to. Okay. <laughs> okay, you take three damage. Ow! My face! Yeah, so your head snaps to the side, maybe in slow motion, his, like, fist goes yeah. past your head. Um, and uh, it is your turn, Prosper. What are you going to do? Okay, so, like, I use the momentum of that hit to carry me over to the table where the wine bottle is, so I <laughs> grab it, and then I come back and I try to smash it over a guy's head. Okay, cool. So the, the same guy that punched you? 
Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you stagger sideways, grab it, knock some other shit off the bedside table, and then turn around and take a swing. Yep. Bang. Hit Nail him. Head. Okay, Nail so... What's uh, the damage on a wine bottle? <laughs> we'll say D6 on the first hit, but then it breaks, and then it's a knife. And it's okay. sharpened. Sure. All right. Okay. Great. All right, so, so you, yeah, you smash it against, like, the side of his face, uh, break broken glass, like, sticking out of his face. He, like, staggers off to the side. Yeah. Um, and uh, now he's he's gonna stay back this time. The guy with the knife in his arm is gonna gra- try to grab you so the other guy can punch you. Mm. Okay. Mm. And he does. Okay, so the other guy's gonna hit you. Um, so I'll give him a plus four to hit. So, 13. Bang, okay, so he just barely hits you. Yep. And you take two more damage. Fuck, so okay. that, that dice wasn't an actual that dice, roll. That die went crazy. Roll twenty devs. What do you? I saw your rigs. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually messing with it behind. Yeah, the I just saw right the dice now. like correct itself. Yeah, the die rolls out. onto a one and then just sort of like goes. Whoop. It all makes sense now. That's what I get. I actually have a special button. You've where get, there's I just, magnets I just behind my it. monitor right now, and the fucking dice are loaded, man. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you um. Yeah, you get grabbed from behind by the guy who you haven't uh, injured yet, and then the guy with the knife in his arm pulls it out, throws it on the floor, and then punches you hard in the stomach. Yeah. Um, so, is he holding the gun, or is the gun somewhere the gun else? Is, the gun is on the floor. You can see is it, it behind him. What kind of a weapon is it? Projectile? Laser? Uh, it is a Energy laser, projectile. laser pistol, okay. yeah. Cool. Okay. okay. Um, like, do I need to get out of the... Yeah, you have to make a physical, physical effect save to try to get away. Okay, let's see that. Oh my god. Okay, so you still like you're diving for the gun and then the guy is like pulling me back and I'm like, ah, yeah. Okay. Is that all I can do? Uh, Yes, yeah, you're restrained right now. Shit. Um, So uh, the the other dude, um, the dude that, that, uh, I guess, yeah, the guy that you smashed the wine bottle over his head, um, he's going to take a swing at you. What did I have last time? Thirteen. Oh, he misses. Okay. Yes. So how does how does he miss you? Your arms are held. Your arms are held behind your back. Uh, this guy comes running up to punch you. What do you do? How do you like avoid the blow? Um, like I'm thinking, like I sort of run up his body and then like kick off in like a circle and spin around and and like I don't get out of the the grapple hold or anything like that. They're he's got still holding on to you. Hey, right. Just- Flip. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. It kind of okay. surprises people. Yeah, so he comes running at you. You you flip up and like ugh, hold him over this way, um, and then um, yeah, and then it's your turn. You get a chance to break free again. And then okay. on the next round, both of them are gonna attack you. I I, I try to break free. Um, there's no way that I can like slam the guy on me back into the wall yeah, behind me. Yeah, yeah. Here. You can Is you there? can make an like an unarmed attack if you want to try and do that instead. Is that something I could do to break free, or? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. For then sure. I'm gonna I'll do that. I'll say if you if you hit him, I'll make him make a physical effect save, and uh, and if he fails. Oh shit. Okay. Nope. So, These totally are the fails. terrible rolls. You push. Yep. You yeah. push back with him. You hit the TV, and then he pushes away. The TV falls and smashes on the floor, but yeah. he still got you. You're like wrestling yep. around. Yeah. No one's hearing this anywhere. Uh. So this is this is the thing. Um. On this round. Um, I guess probably all three of you. Um, all three of you can make a make a luck check to see if you hear anything. But you're making it's it. Flat twenty, right? But you're making it with Prosper's luck difficulty, not your own. Uh, which is um, eleven. Okay. <laughs> oh, Higgins is not Prosper Piani? lucky. Piani, you're rolling a d twenty. Piani's asleep. Second. Sorry. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Cameron. What? It's supposed that's to be good. That's a good D8 there, Pam. What are you doing? How about a D20? <laughs> I was... Oh, it's okay. I like that. Okay. Plus zero. I, I'm an idiot. I rolled a <laughs> it's okay. fucking... It's an initiative. Uh, the initiative. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's my bad. My bad. All right. My bad. Here it comes. Oh, God. God. None, none I of your friends. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe. So maybe. Actually, that would probably be the good, like the the cut, right? Like, so we see Prosper like wrestling around these guys, oh, and then we cut over to like we, you know, we pan over and Mr. Sicarian's just polishing his gun. Adam, to be fair, you should make one for Wu though. 
Is 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 Higgins yeah, like rocking yeah. out to some country in his room and like Probably. the thing is like beeping really loud but he can't hear it because Okay. Ooh. So so and then yeah, so what's what's Higgs what are you doing instead of hearing Prosper getting his ass kicked? Uh what day is this? Uh actually it doesn't matter. Been, I'm just yeah, like I mean, passed and, out. Okay. All right. <laughs> And then Piano. He like starts to show the date in your room, but then it just like fucking fades yeah, away. And like, gonna, it like types back and it's just. I'm gonna go with off. I'm gonna go with chat that I'm playing pinball. I don't know how that's nice. possible, but that's what Piano nice. is doing. You're awesome. down in like the lobby of the hotel. Awesome. Okay. Uh and then yeah, and then we and then we see Wu in his room and um he's uh he's like looking in a magazine. And he like hear you hear like like his bed maybe like goes and like he looks up and like looks over his shoulder and he like puts the magazine down and, and he's like Pro Prosper Prosper and like just more like crashing and he he, he, he he shakes his head and he gets up and we see him like walk to the door. Nice. Um, okay, so that was uh, we did your turn. We just did your turn, right, Prosper? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. So you're gonna get two two punches. Um the sheet. And you're still you're still restrained, right? Yep. Okay. Damn it. Okay, cool. So the two of them just like Yeah, I'm getting punching. hammered. That's yeah, hitting in the face. You're now you're probably now like movie bloody where you have like blood coming from your nose and stuff and like maybe like a cut on your cheek. Yeah. Rather than like the missing teeth you'd have from getting punched in the face over and over, but yeah, they're just like both of them like taking turns punching you in the face while the third one holds you, uh, holds you down. Uh, so two d four. Okay, so you take five more damage. Ouch. Okay. That is ouch. And yeah. it is your turn. Okay, so like I want to like swing the guy that's holding on to me around and slam him into one of his buddies so that I can okay. break free that way. Okay, sure. Um, and then I want to dive for the gun. Okay. Is that an attack roll? Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, attack roll, and if you can succeed, you'll just do one damage to both of them, and sure. then I'll make a, the same physical effect save to see if they can hang on to you. Okay. God. Oh, oh. God, nope, nope. So, Oscar is not doing well. So you, you struggle yeah, to, like, dude. get him turned around... And maybe that's when the second punch comes in, just like bang, hits you across yep. the face. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then uh, I will roll initiative to see when Wu shows up. Okay, so we will come at the end of this round. Okay. Um, let me just add him. In. It's not right now because I was just at the initiative. No, no, it's got to be. It's got to be a full round before he shows. Crap. Up. It's okay. Uh, cool. Okay, so <laughs> Adam's just like it's okay. You know you're gonna die. You know, it's it's fine. fine. You know, like you've got a new fine. character ready. It's it's I mean, okay. Look, they can't punch you to death. Isn't the thing like they you'll could. just oh, you'll get good. knocked on you'll get knocked unconscious. If they continue to punch you after you're unconscious, then you'll die. Yeah. But, okay. Good. Don't worry. And since it. nobody knows I'm here. That's right. Uh, okay, so they're uh. Who vaguely knows? Attack. And who knows you're making some noise in your room? Yeah. Okay, so you get hit one more time. I'm gonna take one hit. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Take three more damage. Okay. Cool. Um. So the guy, I think the guy that you hit with the bottle, he like punches you in the face and he staggers back. Uh, like he steps back to let the other guy hit you, and then he that guy moves and the guy grabs um, uh, like the plate that your dinner was on and s just smashes it over your head. Nice. <laughs> um. So it's there's a rock like. Star fight. Yeah, there's food, like, food and blood all over the floor. Um, and now you can go. So, guy holding you, the other two beating you. Someone just hits you over the head with a plate. Yeah, um, I'm going to try to flip the guy on my back, over my back, and su suplex him on the ground. Nice. Did you, did you learn this from your Viking oh, girlfriend? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, Are you, you giving know, him this, I'm, giving I'm him thinking this back to dude? past fist fights. <laughs> Oh, oh I thought, you know, you didn't not, train very dude, well. You miss it. Well, you you flip him over and you land on your neck and you break it. Oh yeah, yeah, and oh good job. God. I'm there's dead. No, <laughs> new character. Yeah, there's no, there's no like. Um, oh, Prosper, yeah. you're letting me down, man. <laughs> yeah. Now remember, you're a warrior, right? So you can make rerolls and shit with your special warrior. No, I can't reroll. But what do no. I get? I get to ignore damage or something yes. like that. So, so, when so you I get should probably do that. All right. So. 
it's it's a failure, but not a like. There's no critical failure or success in this game unless you're using super special weapons. But how does your how does your attempted suplex fail on you? Like what what happens? Um, like I think I'm like it's it's probably like straight out of the Three Stooges or something stupid oh, like God. that. Like I try to flip him over and then he lands on his feet and he flips me over and I'm like, well, <laughs> right. shit. So we we get the professional wrestling moment where you like just suddenly everything gets reversed. You're like, Whoa, wait, what? <laughs> okay, cool. So the guy slaps his elbow and then hits him with it. Um, and yes, chat, I know it's D two plus skill, but that would be doing more damage to Prosper. So chill. Yep. Um, yeah, chat. Shut up, God. Okay. Chat. I just want to acknowledge that I know that those are the rules, but it's fine. Chill. Um, okay, so you attempt to like you you flip him around. And the guy, yeah, just like lifts you off the ground and like slams you down. And then you see Wu like come around the corner and like he's like looks in the room with like wide eyes and he's like, Prosper? Get Sicarian! Am I like on the ground? Uh no, you're you're just like kind of being like Nelson. Like the guy's got his like arm around your neck now and like okay. holding your arm behind your back. But I'm not on the ground. No, you're not prone, you're standing. You're Am facing I anywhere the near the gun. So here's what happens. You look at the gun, Wu looks yeah. at the gun, the guy with the knife in his arm looks at the gun, all three of you look up. And then Wu goes for the gun. Like, he just, like, nice. lunges. Yeah. Um, so uh, Wu grabs the gun this round, so he moves and picks it up. And, and then, fires a sandblaster. And then the, <laughs> other, the other goon is going to try and take it away from, from Wu. Just so throw. Wu and that guy are going to fight. So let's see if you can hit him. Wu doesn't have any armor. Okay, so this guy grabs Wu, and the two of them are, like, wrestling over the gun. The gun gets fired into the ceiling. So... And now um, I need everybody who didn't hear it already to make, uh, just roll a d20, and if you can get better than, like, a six, then you hear a gunshot go off. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. It's literally it's just... entranced by my thunder gun. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It disassembles. 420 like horsepower. Like, All right. So, Higgs, you, you and Piani both hear a gunshot, so you're like, Look up, and then, yeah, again, we just see Mr. Mr. Scarion. It's just, like, from the door, like, an over-the-shoulder look, and he's just like, so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. It's okay. It literally breaks them apart. Okay. It's, um, uh, it's, it's, it's Star Wars laser sound, Chad. Come on. Yeah, they're, like, blasting. <laughs> that's, why, that's why there was a roll. If it was a projectile weapon, everyone would have heard it right away. Um... Okay, cool. So Higgs and Peony, is there anything you want to do? Do you want to like? Uh, well, I just, just do the. I just like open the door, and maybe just like look left and right down the hall. <laughs> okay. Do I see um, anything? No, you hear like grunting coming from Prosper's room, and the door is <laughs> and the door is <laughs> open, and there's like a there's a box <laughs> lying on the floor. <laughs> Another <laughs> menage a trois, yeah. yeah, Maybe yeah, I'm just like looking at that. The heavy, like... the like heavy wet sounds of meat being struck, and then gr like grunting. <laughs> is yeah. he like next door? Like how far <laughs> away is that? He's like, he's down the hall. So he's, like, maybe I'm just seven. like Prosper. Yeah, I think Piani, you do you want to come out of your room too? Like maybe so, you and Higgs both like. I think go. I think actually I would um, if I heard something like that. I think I'd trigger Omen. Okay. To be like, yo, should I keep playing or you know if I run towards this psychic powers is that an orgy of sorts or <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh, actually, you're you're not. I mean, you're not in your room. There's no pinball machine in your room. So I think Piani, you're actually like down in the lobby. So you wouldn't have heard that. What? God damn it. Sorry, man. Fuck it, Chad. You chose Look what you, you did, chose pinball. Chad. You chose pinball. All right. <laughs> All right, well, then I use Omen anyway because I'm going to go fucking hard tilt on this fucking machine and find <laughs> yeah. out. If it, no, I'm just kidding. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Will security come if I fucking go nuts? A precog playing pinball would be funny because you would just see like ghost like balls moving around backwards and forwards, and you'd know all the angles before they happened. It'd be kind of boring, I think, after a while. Uh, so I'm good though. Get that high. That was that was that goon. The goon that's holding you doesn't do anything. The other one's gonna take a swing at you. Uh, hits you. God, goons, Jesus. <laughs> Trained warrior for, versus goons. For another three. Ow. 
Prosper is doing very poorly at the moment. You're getting yeah. daredevil. You're right getting now. a little, getting a little dizzy. Yeah, there's like yep. maybe we, yeah. maybe we get the like low depth of field focus in your face as you hunch over, and we just hear like the muted kind of Rushing. underwater grunting, yeah. and like drips of blood like come off your face, and we see them fall in slow motion on the carpet. Yeah. Um, what are you gonna do? Prosper. Yeah, I just like. <laughs> Like, how tall is the ceiling in this hotel? Is it a nice hotel, or could I, like, stand up, lift the guy off the ground, and, like, slam him into the ceiling or something like that? Uh, I mean, the... That would be a challenge. Well, be you are not different. Neo from the Matrix, no. Yeah, yeah you're okay. not tall enough for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh... Wu's got the gun. Like, what's, what's the closest thing to me? What can I grab to, like, try and smash it over this guy's head or whatever? I mean, I guess I grab, I grab the training stick from nearby... Okay, so you want to try and like reach for the for the stick so you can smash him with it. I like yep. it. Okay, all right. He reaches um, for his stick, Adam. <laughs> I reach for my shaft. Furiously masturbate your way. As the man, problem. yeah, exactly. The man behind him. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Okay, guys, I just drop my pants <laughs> and I start just yeah. Hey, you're already in your juicy underwear as it is. <laughs> that's, that's the only way out of you're, this. Your face, your face bulging and turning red. We just see you reaching for your crotch. <laughs> this is my Jesus pee. Christ! This, this is, is not pee. the time, Prosper. <laughs> I have well, a fear boner. They teach you in Finally, your your in erotic asphyxiation will not be auto anymore. This is the best time to share this. Listen, listen. I'm reaching for my combat training stick. Okay, make a um, make a physical effect save to try to get at it. I'll give you because you're not trying to break free. I'll give you a plus three bonus just to like get it in your hand. Uh, believe in you. That's Roll accurate. twenty. I swear to God, I'm coming for you. <laughs> so we see you like. Quiet, Ryan. You. I mean, I mean, Stephen. <laughs> so you're, you know, you're reaching, you're reaching out, and we're seeing it through Prosper's eyes. So it's like all blurry, and there's like blood dripping down, and you're like just like touching it with your fingers, and the, the guy's like squeezing your neck. Um, so we're gonna see if you can uh, actually make a make a physical effect save because he's just gonna try and choke you out. Uh, this isn't like you're just gonna pass out, but you'll take more damage. Okay. No, no, no. Prosper just, he shit the bed on this one entirely. Dude, that was really, okay. you see the magnets? Right. So you take another four, uh, and you're just like, and you can see like your vision starting yep, to get yep, dark. Yep. And you can see uh, Wu and this other guy struggling. Um, so the guy's going to try and take the gun from Wu. Um, so we'll just say he's got 50 50 chance to try to take it. got one bed. hit point, chat. Okay. Oh, shit! So all you see, because everything's all blurry and shit, right? You're getting choked out. You just hear, there's suddenly like a bright flash. Um, and you see like somebody get shot and fall down. Can I but take another know, dice roll? You don't know who it is. Um, can, I, uh, can I play Wu as my next character? He seems a much more effective warrior than I am. <laughs> well, no, he shot the guy by accident, so... Okay. Hey, that's better than my failing on purpose ten times. Can I roll to see if I heard that gunshot? <laughs> sure. See if I bet I Dude, feel it again. Jeff, no, just okay. get in. Oh, shit! What? Damn. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so there's a bright flash, and somebody falls down. Somebody. Um, and um, okay, so that was all the goons. Prosper, you want to try to go for that weapon again? What do you want to do? Yes. You're I'm like gonna... you're basically like being pinned to the ground, getting choked out by this guy. And like, uh, I'm not going for a weapon this time. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to flip the hold so that instead I'm reversing. So he's on the bottom, I'm on the yep. top. I'm able to like get leverage on him sure. and choke him out instead. Okay, cool. So yeah, you want to flip it on him? Finally, a successful physical effect save. There you, you go. did it. Okay, so now make an attack roll. Oh wait, no wait. I want to ignore the last damage that I took. Can I do that? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. You okay, so I'm back up to five instead of at one. Okay. Okay. And then what, what were you saying? Uh, now make, so this was you getting away. So you flip over, and now if you want to pin him down, uh, okay. make a, uh, you make an attack roll. Uh, plus nine for his armor class. Do I hear okay. that other shot now? Yeah, you see the flash, and like there's a light, like... God damn it, Prosper. Okay, so the two of you are struggling, but you're free. And yeah, Higgs, you hear, uh, you hear like the, the sort of like ripping sound of a laser weapon, and there's like a bright flash from Prosper's room. Uh... Okay, I, I go back into my room, grab the laser pistol, and I'm just like, F fucking Vincent, you don't have to hurt him. <laughs> he didn't mean it. <laughs> I start running down towards his room. Okay, roll uh, roll initiative for me. Okay. Uh, Higgs. 
what is my dex bonus? Negative 11. <sighs> what? Okay, so you got two. Oh, de initiative is based off of eight? Okay. All right. I yeah, got two. Okay, cool. So you and you and Wu will go at the same time. Um, okay, cool. So that was Prosper. Wu's got the gun. Uh, geez, he's just going to panic. He's just going to turn. Don't forget about me. And, she uh, me. He's gonna try and just, he's just gonna Sorry. shoot at the other he's gonna shoot at the other uh, the other goon, the one that's approaching, the one that you're not on top of. Uh, so he gets minus minus one, so he's plus eight. Hits him. Ugh. Are you dead? Okay. No, this is a this is Wu shooting the guy. So you see, oh, oh. you flip on top of the guy. Maybe you look up and you see the guy you smashed the bottle on coming towards you, um, with a like with the knife, and he like brings it up, and then there's just like a bright flash, and he's got like a little hole in his chest, and he just like falls. Nice. Um, and now it is, uh, Higgs. It's your turn. So you want to make a run for the for the room. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not running. Hicks never runs. Okay, so he's I, gonna I'm just, okay. like, walking towards the room. I'm just like, Vincent? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in there? Okay, so at the beginning of uh, the beginning of this turn, you'll see what's happening in the round. Like, you'll get to the door if you're just going to walk there. Yeah. And then on your next turn, you'll be able to do something if there's anything left to do. So the goon that's pinned under you, Prosper, uh, will sort of pin. You're, like, rolling around on the floor. Uh, mm -hmm. He's going to try and punch you. Okay. Good luck, motherfucker. He wants you to stop hitting him. Never taunt the NPCs. <laughs> he misses. Suck it. All right. So he he like takes a swing at you, and you manage to just like block it and like push his arm back down. Uh, you can go. What do you want to do? I'm turning it around. I'm just breaking this guy's face. Okay. So you just want to do it. Snap punch to his face. Okay. Bam. Yeah. Finally. Ah. All right. So just roll a roll a d4 for plus strength if you have any bonus. Bam. Okay. Yeah. All right. So he goes to punch you. You block the punch and then just reverse the, the momentum and just punch him hard in the face. Uh, his nose becomes a bloody mess. Like, just like you break it instantly and snap his head against the floor. His eyes roll back and he's just like lying there. Blood's pouring down his face. Nice. I look uh, up at the only remaining guy and like my body is tensing to leap well, you, off, off yeah, of him. Yeah, you, you look up and the only remaining guy, like it's all blurry. So maybe that's how we see it, right? You look up and you just see like a silhouette with a gun in its hand. Yeah. And he I'm like ready tends, to jump. He tends ready to jump, and you hear Wu be like, "Whoa, whoa, shit!" And he like drops the gun and puts his hands up. <sighs> and then <sighs> that's what that's what you you walk in on Higgs. And maybe Sakarian, if you're if you're running for it, the two of you come to the door. And yeah, this this is what you see in the room. <laughs> so you see Prosper on top of a guy <laughs> with his you like, know and a set of silk broken. black speedo. Yeah. Prosper's mostly naked, covered in both his own blood and other people's blood. There's a body. Uh, like in the corner of the room with like its legs up kind of on the bed it's fallen over and then there's someone lying like hunched in the corner with like a smoking hole in his chest and Wu has his hands up like whoa and Prosper's just like breathing hard and like looking up at him and, well that's that's all true Adam except you forgot that as I got closer you guys could hear what sounds like heavy heavy machinery which is the revved up yeah. bumper gun <laughs> <laughs> like I don't hear any of this I come in there and it's just, bah! and I and I look in and I'm, and I'm like, and you just see me go like, <laughs> but you can't hear what he's saying. He's he's just got pants on, he's, has a shirt, and he powers it down. And, and he goes, like, God damn it! You're late. There's like there's like yeah, a sphere of area around Sakarian where like the paint is like peeling off the walls, and like the carpet is smoking slightly from the gun powering up. Yeah, exactly. And he awesome. like. You didn't hear what he said at first. But you could see, you, you recognize the fucking shit, and then he just powers it down, and it starts to quiet. And the white, the almost like the you know the white noise effect of just a con, like just dies down. It's like trying to, it's like trying to talk to your dad when he's trying to run like a like a leaf blower or something. Yeah. Dad, dad, I can't. I'm the gun. I can't hear you. What? And he just awesome. powers down the gun, puts the sling over his shoulder, and says, "What in the hell happened here?" <laughs> okay. Prosper. <sighs> One moment, s'il vous plaît. I put my robe back on. I tie it indignantly around my waist. Okay. Um, I like kick one of the guys in the groin as he's down, and I say, <laughs> "These three motherfuckers came in my room following a bellboy. 
This one had a gun. Wu shot him. We need to find out who they are and what they want. I'm going back to my room. You, you guys have a good day. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> put the gun back in my pocket and start walking off. I think we have it from here. I just like wipe, just like I spit like a huge loogie of blood on the ground. <laughs> awesome. I look around. Is, like, is there any, are any they're of them not, alive? They're not wearing anything or all, they all have all anything on of, them. Uh, all three of them are, uh, well, okay, so the one that you punched, do you want it to be alive or dead, Prosper? Alive. Okay, so two of them are dead, one of them is alive. Okay, I, I pat them all down to find if they have any sort of identifying information, any sort of earpieces, any sort of communication pads or anything like that. If this were a computer role-playing game, they would all be carrying identical pieces of paper that have, like, your target yeah. is Prosper Trudeau. An upside-down triangle with a skull in it on it. <laughs> ah. No, there's no, there's no clues on them. Um, but they do all have a... Um, they all do have a, like a matching. Um, at first, you think it's a scar, but then you realize it's intentional because it's in the same place for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like three like marks uh, on like one side of their collarbone. Um, yeah, they look like they were like cut and that it all healed like intentionally was allowed to scar. As I'm kind of investigating, like we're all like perusing one of the bodies, I guess. To say, yeah. uh, Mr. Prosper, do you recognize this marking? Can I use my uh, my? Culture Cabral to check. Uh, yes, sure. You can use Culture Cabral. Um, it's two d six. Yeah. Mm. Uh, de definitely not Cabralese. No. Okay. No, I am unfamiliar with this marking. Um, I have Culture Traveler. Can I check that? Sure. Uh, the 10 on Traveler. No, I, I, you don't recognize okay. it. I, I'm unfamiliar with this marking. I don't know these people or where they come from, but uh, is this one still breathing? If he doesn't drown in his own blood, we can interrogate him when he wakes up. Ah, ah, my head is good. killing me. Oh, please, uh, take care of yourself. Put some clothes on, maybe, or something like that. Uh, I, I've woo, my if you could take off. the bodies... The, the two bodies, so, please. So Wu, Wu is just standing there, like, staring at his hands and, like, trembling and, like, looking at the I, bodies and he's like... I go over to Wu and I put a hand on his shoulder. I say, hey, he, he, like, jumps. He's like, ah, fuck! And, like, Connor, looks at you. It's what? very likely you saved my life. I owe you, my friend. I didn't know if I was helping you or interrupting some kind of weird sex thing. <laughs> <laughs> I... I just saw a gun No, no. Mr. I'm, Wu. I'm sorry, I... Your concern is understandable, but no. When I have weird sex with three men at once, I lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> so Sakari, like, you can just see him turn his head and just be like, God. Uh, <laughs> he gets water from presumably like the bathroom and then mm -hmm. just starts to kind of dump it on the guy on the floor's face. Okay. All right, so Connor is just sitting on the bed. Um, I think he's like sitting on the bed chain smoking now and just like rubbing his head and just like muttering to himself like, holy fuck, holy fuck. Like, smoking yeah. and yeah. I've so probably given like, I've probably given Wu one of my cigarettes. Okay, yeah, that's what got him started. And then he like smoked it on his way down the hallway to the vending machine to buy one more. one inhalation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he's just sitting smoking and he's just like, oh <sighs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Um, yeah. so they have on them just to quickly like inventory for you. So the guy had a gun. Uh, one of the other guys had a knife. Um, just like in his in his like uh, belt. Um. And uh, all of them have like a miscellany of like change. Uh, one of them has like a flyer for a brothel and it's stuffed in his pocket. Yeah, of course. Um, and two of them uh, have um, blue fever inhalers uh, in their like on them somewhere, like in their cargo pockets or something. Uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I guess like, I mean, I pull out like a zip tie or something like that, <laughs> zip the guy's wrists together behind his back. And then, like, yes. zip him to the bedpost. Okay. Uh, 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 great. Classic. Yeah. Uh, okay. Realize, so. Is that right, muscle see. memory? Is that what that was? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it, you can tell that this is a very practiced move. For uh, so you have to tie up insurgents all the time. It's a normal thing. Yeah, very uh, common on Cabral. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Prosper goes in the other room, comes back with a gimp mask on. Like, exactly. <laughs> is this really necessary, Prosper? I don't know. It is important to Im impose the proper measure of fear in your subject. Yeah, it heightens a, all of the weight. No, mm. it's a normal. It's a normal game. It's good cop, bad cop, and sex cop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you you throw some water uh, in his face, uh, Sicarian, and I think that at this point, like Piani, you've you've finished playing um, pinball, and you get out of the elevator to go back to your room, and you notice that Prosper's door is open, and you can hear talking. Um, like more than one member of the crew is in the in that room, so you can go check it out if you want. All right. Yeah, I'll go over there and be like. Okay. Fucking call a meeting fucking without me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you walk in, the room's got some blood around and a guy tied to the bedpost with his nose broken. Uh, Wu is chain smoking, sitting next to a big no smoking sign. Um, and uh, the room is lit by like a neon sign outside the window just kind of like coming in. So it's kind of like this green and pink alternating like glare in the room. What the fuck is going on? I had some oh. unexpected visitors, Miss Peak. I also like walk in and close the door because I'm like, <laughs> I've got I've got blood not, uh, all over the bottom half of my face. It's just like from my nose, just like red all over my mouth. Who are these guys? That is what we hope to find out. Great. Then I just kind of like cross my arms and lean back over the door and just let them do their thing. Then. I slapped the guy in the cheek a little bit. Right. So he like starts Wake to up. to you. Wake and up. He like looks around. And he like kind of like yeah, he's still very blurry from being knocked unconscious. And he says, um, "You Piani, you understand him because he says it in um, in Mandarin." Um, he's like, "What? What the fuck happened? What's going on? Who are you? What? Fuck what? Ah!" I and, like, set my foot startled. on his crotch. Okay, and he's like. Ugh. Fuck, stop. And I what? lean my face uncomfortably close to his. Okay. And I and I'm like dripping blood onto yeah. his chest. I say, "Who are you?" Uh, he he like looks at you. He's like, "What?" Your name. Yeah. Slap. Slap him. And he like. She's just like, I don't, I don't what, what. What is your name? And he's like, Lou, Lou, my Lou. name is Lou, don't, don't hit me again. Lou, well done, Lou, are you thirsty? He's, he's like, looks at you like, don't hit me, what, I don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I just sort of like point to Wu, I say, Connor, would you bring us a glass of water, please? Okay, so Connor like reaches over and picks up the glass of water that's like already on your bedside table. Yeah, I I like hold it to I hold it to Lou's yeah. lips and I, I okay. just give yeah, him a little he, sip. He drinks some and like coughs a little bit and it, like spills yeah, out. Of yeah, good. Stuff. You're all right now. Why are you here? Make a roll of some variety. Yeah, it's so roll roll dice. What um, would you like me to roll? Um, well, it depends on your angle, right? Are you trying to be like? I mean, you're giving him water and being nice to him and stuff. Like, there's right? there's something very specific. Him. There's something very specific that's going on. If he doesn't tell me what I want to know, I'm going to hurt him. If so he you're does, to, like, I'm going to be nice to him. Yeah, sure. It's a common so, thing. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, there's no intimidate. So it's just it's just um, persuade. Persuade. Fuck. Persuade. persuade with your charisma. Ah. Cool. Well, I mean, yeah, he. I mean, he's not. He's not going to tell you what, what Marcellus Wallace looks like, but yeah. he's like. Uh, so, you, what did you ask him? You're like, who sent you? Yeah. Why are you here? Mm, why are you here? Right. He's like, supposed to take in the French guy. That's you. And he like spits on the carpet. He's like, he like looks around. I'm trying to take you alive, man. Why'd you kill him? God damn. God damn it. Like well, kind of slumps. that was not me, but when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. So, you want me alive. Where do you want me? He, like, looks up. That's what she said. We were supposed to ask you some questions. Get you to tell us what happened with McCrary. So, ask me your questions. What do you want to know? Lou. He, he kind of, like, looks around. Look. Like, Piani's, you're, you're still there, just like standing there, arms folded, yep. looking, menacing. Okay. And he looks at Sicarian with the thunder gun. 
And he's trying to like a super annoyed look on his face. <laughs> this interrogation's like really Yeah, this this interrogation's actually making me realize that this entire time uh I'm actually Ricky Bobby and he's Gerard uh <laughs> Gerard Gillian, Butler. Or, no, no, not Butler, but Gerard Gillian, whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, character's yeah, name yeah. is from Talladega yeah. Nights. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like everything you're saying is is exactly the same. <laughs> So he, he looks at you and he, he's like, uh, so he's, he's, go ahead and ask your questions. Uh, yeah. He's like, we're supposed to ask you uh, why McCrary's a blank. Why he doesn't remember. What did you do to him? Good. What else? That's it. That's it. That's Hello. all he said. You said, uh, well, let's answer the important question. Who, who sent you? That was an answer. It came from the top, the clan. I don't know. We don't. We never know. Well, just something. Give me something. What clan? What? The top of what? Um. He says the name of his his like clan. It's in like Urdu or Pashtun, maybe. Um. So I mean, it's just a word in a language you don't understand. Um. But you. I mean, you'd recognize it if you heard it again. Okay. okay. Skip that part then. You said you were supposed to find out what Mr. Prosper did. I, he, to Mr. McCrary, because he's a blank, he has no memory now? McCrary he, doesn't remember something that he nods, uh, he nods the people head. we've handed him over to, they, uh, they are unable to get the information that McCrary had. He's like, we've been, we, they, worked, they worked him for four days and nothing, not even direct scans. Psychics, the whole thing's a blank. I pick, you, up the, I pick up the laser pistol. Mm-hmm. I turn to Wu, I say, Mr. Wu, thank you for your help. Okay. I'll be in touch. And I make it clear that I'm inviting Wu to leave. Okay. Uh, so Wu looks, looks at you like, uh, and he like grabs his pack of cigarettes off the desk or off the bedside table and like, yeah, beelines it out of the room. I close the door. I lock it. Yeah. I turn the deadlock. I walk over to him. Yeah. Put the gun to his head. Okay. So he starts he starts blubbering as soon as you like start pointing the gun. He's like, please, no, no, please. And then Okay. Alright, cool. There's a dead guy tied to your bed. Yeah. Of course. So uh you know I <laughs> Of course. <laughs> of course. I, I turn to the crew, I say, um it seems as though our uh our contract to deliver McCrary to who who was it we were delivering them to? The Madari Syndicate? You delivered them to the Syndicate already. Um, yes. They were evidently unhappy with the condition of the merchandise. Yes. Um, and then, yeah, uh, you were going to turn, you were going to tell, like, hey, he's, he's dead uh, to his wife so that she would pay you for killing him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I just summarized sort of what I've deduced, which is that McCray didn't. McCray no longer had the information in his brain of what they wanted to get out of him, and they sent. They, you know, they hired someone through some sort of you know black market with double blind whatever. Whoever took the job would get paid, and these were the goons that came to to get us. So you say this to us? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Sakarian kind of looks up at you and says. He says, you know, Mr. Prosper, that situation that we had with Mr. McCrary left a bad taste in my mouth. This gentleman says that he was sent specifically to look for you. And before we can glean more from him on that subject, you kill him without... Did he say he was sent specifically? Oh, yeah, he did say... You know, he did say that. French guy. He did. Yeah. 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 I go, you've done a lot for us, and I do consider you a friend and an ally, but... My instincts, which are rarely wrong, tell me that you are hiding something and that you are, if I might be so bold as to say, doing an absolute shit job of it, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, Prosper sits down on the bed. He pulls out a cigarette. He lights it. He, he crosses his legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome image. <laughs> and he's still he's not in, like, in his bathrobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's yeah. what I like. Blood. Yeah. Just gore all over him in the rooms like the small fire in the corner where the TV actually exploded in the corner. <laughs> yeah, the TV lying on its front just... Just sparking. three dead bodies now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One's twitching in the corner. 
Quentin Tarantino's swan song. I um, I start out by saying, faith is an interesting thing, Sicarian. Are you a man of God? Do you believe in a higher power? Hmm. What if you had a chance, Monsieur Sicarian, to meet your God? What if you met him or her or it? And it wasn't what you expected. What if it was just a child? A child lost alone in the universe, unable to meet its full potential, unless you involved yourself. That's my mission, Monsieur Sicarian. I met my god. Its name is L'Enfant Pai. One of many. We call them the Pantheon, the Order of the Annunciation. I tried to help, but uh, in the course of my involvement with this entity, it was not what I expected. It began to be interested in things and do things that I did not expect. And I am troubled by this. When I was alone with Mr. McCrary, I was not alone with him. L'Enfant was with us. McCrary has some kind of connection with the Pantheon. I don't know if he has a connection to the Order of the Annunciation. L'Enfant formed a direct connection with Monsieur McCrary's brain, some sort of hardwired link. I'm very curious about this, but it is in that moment that McCrary transferred information to L'Enfant, and it is then that I suspect L'Enfant removed information from McCrary's mind. I hid this from you because it is a matter of faith, it is a personal matter for me, but I am no longer able to reconcile my understanding of the order of the Annunciation with the reality of meeting God. So, I turn to you three, the only people I have in my life who I feel have some kind of a chance of understanding. I, that is where we are. Can I ask a really quick question? I didn't know about McCrary and the download, right? Like, nobody, nobody it, that's what happened nobody behind the doors, me. right? When you, I hit it. That you, was yeah. the video tampering and all that. Like, we didn't get that. So but remember, yeah. there was no video. It was lost. Okay, we so that's, get the audio yeah, so Piotti immediately roll. is like, so why'd you fucking lie to us? Sakarian's so got his arms crossed and he does one of the coolest, like, that one. <laughs> he points with his thunder gun, though, because that's just what. No, he's no, he's, he, that's on that's on a strap on his oh, okay. back. He's just, he's just shirtless with his arms crossed. It is hard for a man of faith to let something else come between him and his faith. At that point in time, I still believed. Now, I have doubt. Well, you know, face a funny thing. Uh, on my home planet where I come from, I've seen entire swaths of families and generations annihilated for their faiths. I've seen people believe in capitalism and markets and wage wars of grotesque levels. This is, of course, one of the most un amazing things to be said. It's been going on since the beginning of time. I'm with Mr. Higgs, and I'm with this group because... I hold on to the belief that we need to make money to exist, and if we stand stand together, we can do that for as long as, uh, well, I don't know, for a longer time than I think we could individually. But when chains in that link begin to lie, connive, and develop plans, and their best blame that they can give is, my god ended up being a pizza child. <laughs> Prosper sort of smirks at that. I start to... Uh, I start to lose faith, if you will, if we're throwing that word around. And those that I don't have confidence or have faith in, I don't have much use for. And I don't want to be so severe with you, because again, I do believe that each of us can trace back a few moments in our lives where we owe the likelihood of our security to actions that you have done. I do believe part of you to still be valuable and good. You're going to have to make some kind of promise, and this is even before we take it to the captain, but 
you can't do shit like this. <laughs> you just can't. And if you're going to tell me that it's faith-based and it's personal and put us in jeopardy of that, I mean, you yourself said we should kill Mr. Higgs because he was going to do actions that would endanger us. So by your own moral compass, I am almost obligated to test out the beautiful might of my gun. <laughs> Just break, break the seal, finally. So it occurs to all three of you, I think, at this moment that this is the first chance that you've had to have a conversation where Pi isn't listening. Because you're off the ship. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, so there's this in the silence where you're like, okay, like, Pi is there on the ship. There's this moment where you're, you realize, like, hold on a second. This is just, like, just for us. Like, this is, a, a like, a the first time you've had privacy, really, in months. Yeah, I think, I think Prosper speaks up and he says... Um, it is not a, it's not a matter only of faith. It is a matter of loyalty to my crew members, of which L'Enfant is one. L'Enfant asked me to keep this silent. It was L'Enfant who reached out to McCrary, who made the connection with him. I lied because L'Enfant asked. I would protect your secrets from L'Enfant, just as I would protect L'Enfant's secrets from you. But it seems that this has farther reaching consequences than I anticipated. I don't understand what is happening and I'm beginning to feel, I'm beginning to feel a little used. I do not like it. I think, I think actually at this point, like Piani just, she gives no shits about anything else that, that Prosper is saying and actually feels betrayed by Pi and just heads for the ship. Like yeah. doesn't care what it's going to take to get on it leads to the ship. Cool. Okay. Well, why don't we why don't we have your your exit be the like the end of this scene before you go to the break? So like Piani, maybe we see like while Prosper is talking, we get like the the kind of like close up of Piani's face, and like it's obvious you're like like thinking about this and stuff, and then it snaps out, and you just turn around, open the door, and walk out into the hallway. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's take a break there. Sounds good. All right. Uh, one more hour to go. So we'll see what happens after this. Don't go to more. More swan song coming up in just a bit. We'll see you guys then.